painting all these slats by hand is not fun. And I know the slats, this style can be a little bit, you know, iffy in style and preference. Solid shutters would be my preference now, but I don't want to go out and spend $30 a window to put new ones on when there's so many projects going on in the house. So I painted this shutter by hand. It took me almost 30 minutes to get in all the creases. And of course, I had to start on the back side to get all of this edging here that would show through. Not a huge fan of it. It's real slow. And of course, I had it setting in the garage. I thought, oh, it's a rainy day. I'll just go ahead and work on these. I thought it was gonna take me hours upon hours to get this all done from start to finish. So I went home, I worked on my Wagner paint crew. I'm sure you've seen the video on that by now. If, if you haven't seen that video yet and you have one of these, go on there and watch the videos because it will give you tips on breaking it down and cleaning it. So I've got a one gallon container of Dutch Boy DuraClean and this is a acrylic latex exterior paint and it's got primer in it. So I did a test with that black one that I already painted just to see if it is going to stick or not. And it seems to stick pretty well. My second choice would be single cans of uh, Rust-Oleum spray paint because I love it and it works great. Now I did this a couple of years ago with a bare paint and I really liked the results. I had reused some Craigslist shutters and it worked really great and I haven't had any problem with them peeling at all. So I'm hoping that this product will give me similar results. The reason for not going with the bare now is I'm just simply closer to a Menards and it's easy to run in there on the way here to be able to get anything done. Going into all these different parts stores with the kids takes half my day just driving around to those places on my way here to start work. So I'm going to pour my paint into my hopper and I'm going to get going on this. You can go ahead and follow along, but it's going to be great. The house is going to look so much better. It's going along really good. After the first like one or two, you really get a pattern and a rhythm, but it's going through paint fast. I really don't know if I'm going to have enough. I might have to get a quart for touch up. Um, the It's called styles and rails. Um, the styles that go across are hard to get when you're on that side. And of course I'm getting paint on my tarp. Couldn't do this just sitting on the grass because then I would have grass, you know, hiding certain areas but you can see right where it's missing from the angle that I'm on maybe I should have flipped them around the other way to get started but at least I know it and I see it so that I'm getting it from all angles so I added a little more paint to my hopper I have a little bit more paint left I had actually painted the front door already so I had less than a gallon and I will tell you I wish I had this working during my last project because it's so hard and so time consuming to do some of this work. I had remembered that when I first painted this basement years ago, I used the power sprayer because I needed to do the ceiling and the walls. And that's why everything was stark white. I remembered taking the carpet out and painting it all white. These guys are playing water gun attacks. <laughs> and I keep getting after them. I had to tell Trey to stop mowing and baby wants to play. He wants to get wet So he took his clothes off and now he cries if he gets wet and then he cries if he doesn't get played with Don't shoo him. He doesn't like it. Just run and play Yeah Just run and play little guy Anything I can do to keep these guys busy while I'm working is helpful So I just keep looking over them and noticing like oh, I missed a spot here. I missed a spot there, but this is such a thin coat that it really dries in maybe 30 minutes. So I've got a little bit here at this corner I missed. It's an upper corner and if I put it on the inner edge, you won't even notice it. Yeah. Oh, hi there. Oh, I know. You got wet. What did they do? Yeah. Yeah. He took off all his clothes, all on his own. He's almost two. You know what happens. They start taking their clothes off. Yeah. 
There you go. Yeah, see that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got paint on my handle and then I moved it around. Oh, I know. Hi, guy. Well, anyways. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to let this dry for a little while and come back to it for another coat. I'll tell you, probably the more time consuming out of all of this is cleaning the paint hopper out because you have got to be meticulous about it. And I've learned my lesson about not doing it right. Do yourself a favor and have kerosene or mineral spirits on hand to run through it because it will lubricate it and help clean everything out. So I flush it twice with water. I take my brush and I clean the hopper all out. But let me show you what is going on with my shutters. I've got a second coat of paint on them and it has been cloudy. I tell you, I checked the weather before I started and there was a chance of rain around six. We passed that chance, but you know, there's just not a lot of sun to dry this up. And I got to put them in tonight because it's going to rain overnight. I hate to leave them here and I hate to prop them up and get them scratched up either. I'm kind of in a quandary. I've whether to put them up or not, but I'm ready to call it quits for the night. And I've been cleaning this hopper out for 20 minutes at least. So let me show you how they look. So against the black tarp, you can hardly see them, but I went over every little area. I hit the little main rib in the center and where the fins kind of connect on the sides where I had wanted to paint the back sides first. I knew there wasn't going to be enough paint to do that with the one gallon. Yeah, so we got six sets of shutters here. I think uh, a gallon between this and the front door did pretty well with the sprayer. I'm happy with it. So we'll see how it holds up. I'll show you the big reveal when I get them all mounted back up in a day or two, depending on what the weather's going to do. But you can see here, I if you want to use this as weed killer i've got mineral spirits in here nothing grows right in this area anyway if not throw them in a bucket um but i just run it with it on right through the hose to flush it all out twice with water and then now with mineral spirits so that we get a nice clear rinse and i got floaty garbage floating in there from bits of paint so that's why i think the mineral spirits is good but i've gotten everything else sitting here and this is all going to go in my mason jar, or my pickle jar full of mineral spirits too. So if you're going to use one of these, know the difference between your water and your mineral spirits. I've got water running through here right now. And as soon as you smell the difference, you just turn it off. That's why spraying it into a bucket's not a bad idea. So that's wanting the pump right now. I've still got water sitting there. Um, I buy these little cans of mineral spirits that you can get. And these have been sitting around for a while for different wood finishing projects. And, oh, I guess I probably bought them for this, but I like to give it a good, good flush. Kids are all misbehaving. It's dinner time. They're ready to go home. I thought I was going to be done with this an hour ago. And remember that there is a uh, filter in here. So when you're all done, to remember to take this apart and run it through. Hey, buddy. So you see here I sprayed black paint when I was cleaning it out earlier. So as soon as I smell this, switch from water to mineral spirits, that's it. Okay, so now it's all through the system. I can shut it down, take it apart, and go home for the night.
think. I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I want to come out where you're at, he says. Yeah. So I've got the first of the shutters up, and I think it looks really good. I've got the picture window done. I still got to do these two here, but I needed to charge up my battery, so I went ahead and did the sides, and you guys can watch me do the rest of the front. And on this side, of course, you know, the sun's on the other side, so you can't see as well, but I think it looks a lot better than the burgundy, and I would have been fine to leave them burgundy, except for that this hair had faded so much, they needed a fresh coat of paint anyway, so why not change the color to a more modern feel?